income from capital gain section 45 to section 55 terms capital gain profit arising from transfer of capital assets requisite there should be a capital asset it should be owned by assessee it could be of any kind like fixed or circulating tangible or intangible movable or immovable conditions of chargeability there must be a capital asset the asset must have been transferred the transfer must have been effected in previous year there must be gain arising on such transfer of capital asset such gain should not be exempted capital asset does not include stock in trade or raw material movable personal asset except jewelry precious stone archaeological collections drawing paintings sculpture etc agriculture land in urban area national defense certificate gold deposit bond special bearer bonds goodwill of professional only transfer section 2 subsection 47 transfer includes sales exchange relinquishment extinguishment compulsory acquisition by government transfer asset into stock in trade introducing capital asset in business as contribution distribution of capital on dissolution transfer does not include gift will conversion of debenture bonds preference share into equity shares partition of huf transfer of asset from holding to subsidiary company and vice versa amalgamating to amalgamated company demerged to resulting company and same goes for their share reverse mortgage consolidation plan or scheme of mutual fund rupee denomination bonds or any government securities redemption of sovereign gold bonds issued by rbi types of capital assets and periods of holding security listed in recognized stock exchange equity units in uti zero coupon bond if hold less than or equal to 12 months it will be short term capital asset if it is hold for more than 12 months it is long term capital assets unlisted share land building hold form less than or equal to 24 months short term capital asset hold for more than 24 months long term capital asset unit of debt oriented fund unlisted securities other than shares other capital asset hold for less than or equal to 36 month it will be short term capital asset and if hold for more than 36 month it will be long term capital assets computation of short term capital gain here is the pro forma take a look at it and note the following things cost of acquisition which is purchase cost good of goodwill of business if self generated then it will be nil if purchased from vendor then actual amount paid for other asset if acquired after 1st april 2001 then actual cost if acquired before 1st april 2001 actual cost of fair market value as per 2001 whichever is higher cost of improvement expense incurred for modification alteration extension reconstruction etc cost of improvement for goodwill of business it will be nil and for other asset if occurred before 2001 it will be nil if occurred after 2001 then actual cost
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग प्लीज लाइक सब्सक्राइब कॉमेंट एंड शेयर माई चैनल एक्सट्रैक्ट फिफ्टी टू